Today, guys, I want to talk about many ways why people are destroyed with money. The thing why people destroy it with money is because how they handle their money. And a lot of people today don't have money. It's because from spending here, spending there, buying here, buying there, traveling there, traveling here, eating out from different places and going shopping and just thinking about, you know, good, the good life, you know, the good times. So there's many reasons why people are destroyed. It's because their own doing and when people got hit with that, they realized that it's time to change because this is not, it's not good. And I know a lot of people and it's happening today that many people are wasting a lot of money. It's because of their own doing. And the other things that people has, um, payments, when you have a lot of payments, when you have a lot of payments or bills, your money goes towards to all those payments. And these are the things that people, you know, um, did to themselves because they, they got into this uh, predicament, to this uh, situation that, you know, they will uh, borrow a lot of money from banks and now they are in big trouble. So it's pretty scary to think about because there's many people out there that they are have this, you know, um, things going on with their lives and I don't know how they get away with it. I know it's going to take a very long time to get out from those debt and many people are suffering today. It's because of too much, you know, too much debt. Um, I really think that, you know, um, they should not done that, you know, but sometimes they, they want to taste the good life. They want to, to, to have those things because, you know, they want to prove it to themselves or to their families or to, the, to their friends or to the media, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram. And this is why people get in trouble. And here in the United States, the lifestyle here, it's like that. But what people don't want to understand here in the United States is all about finance. It's all about borrowing money from banks. It's all about, you know, paying that every month from housing to cars, credit cards, everything here is all about financing. So this is the thing that put people in big trouble. And a lot of people today in the United States are in big trouble. So luckily, I'm not one of them, you know. I don't have a big debt, I don't have average debt, I have a little debt, and I'm very happy. My cars is paid off, they're paid off, they, it's fully paid and I don't have monthly payment, and I save a lot of money from cars, and credit cards, you know, I have very little debt in credit cards, and my credit score is almost 800, and it's very good, so I'm really happy with my situation right now because I've never tried to buy or finance things, you know, expensive things that I can show it to people or families or friends because I don't give a crap, you know, what they have. I'm happy with whatever I have, I don't have that and I'm happy and I don't care if they are have a gigantic house or 
or cars or I don't really care. They're the ones paying for it. They're the one who created the debt. So they have to pay those debt, not me. So I don't really, you know, um, I would never be jealous about people out there because I'm debt free and I'm happy and I can sleep good, I can sleep well, I can eat good and live well without, you know, too much debt on my shoulders. So I can care less. So um, to, to the people out there that they have big debt, they have to really uh, tackle those debt because they're the ones suffering. And if you don't pay your debt, if you don't pay more money, and you're the one that's gonna suffer for a very long time. And people has expenses in life. And when those expenses are building up, when there's too many, that is how, you know, these problems uh, uh, created. And that's the, you know, uh, problems uh, will attack those people and give them stress and anxiety and you know all these worries and that's how you know um, those death um, destroy people so you really have to be careful because here in the United States if you don't know how to play the card game you are going to be in big trouble so thank God I'm not I don't have big debt and I will don't want to and I will live like just a simple lifestyle but just keep collecting money and saving money and that's my my uh, theory you know so the less debt I have the more money I will save and I'm piling and piling and piling that's the way I wanted to do it because you know, um, I realized that and I learned that. So it's really good to have that a small debt, a small little debt, because believe you guys, you will save tons of money, a lot of money when your expenses is just a little and your lifestyle is not extravagant and you can save a lot of money. You know, so you have to be frugal, you have to be smart with your money, you have to be really careful with money, especially credit cards, because that's how people get in trouble big time. So guys, pay your debt and get out of debt, because you don't want to be in debt for the rest of your life. Ciao, ciao.